Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £200 of the 10 ps to have a hunt through. Looking for those alphabet 10 ps We may even find some territories and foreign coins along the way. 2019 is the year we need to fill. We need the letters A and B. The letter I. N, Q, P, S. W, X, Y and Z to fill this book. We've never filled a 2019 book and because they're so low minted and tricky to get with your hands on, we started a brand new 2018 book as well to see if we can fill this one before we finish 2019. Uh, 2018 we have the letters A, C, E, F, G, L, there's a big gap here that'd be nice to fill up a few more slots, N, O, P, U and V, so plenty still get to get for 2018, but uh, given they are, the, well, they all the alphabet MPs are very, very elusive, uh, so we'll see what we can do to pick off some more of these empty slots. So let's get into these bags. So we'll jump into some questions then. Uh, these are questions from my unclaimed subscriber giveaway. We've got a whole host of uh, new questions to get through, and we're slowly making our way through the question bank. As ever, peace, prosperity, and pepperonis, make us the breakfast 50p t shirts available over on Teesprings. Links in the description if you're interested. Don't feel obliged though, but uh, I'm thinking pink is quite nice color of shirts i don't think i own any other pink shirts so very very cool anyway um first question comes from yonk who says do you have any coins from afghanistan i don't believe so not that i can recall no don't think so but if i was to come across them in my world coin hunts i'd be more than happy because uh, taking off new countries is quite cool matt hand says excellent giveaway do you think they should release a key worker coin and which area would you like to see i think that's a lovely idea i think uh, we are very much overdue an nhs coin at least uh, given the hard work and effort that has been put in over this bizarre time that we seem to have uh, be coming slowly to a conclusion of uh, hopefully with the things moving the way they are it carries on moving in a positive direction and we can don't have to take any further steps back but um, if it's necessary then obviously we, we would have to under <laughs> maybe a little bit of protest but um, no anyway uh, yes uh, but yeah key workers in general um, so uh, I think it's a lovely idea 100% now the problem is where do you draw the line who is a key worker who's not a key worker so maybe just calling it the key worker coin and having a, maybe like on the WWF like the 2020 Team GB some little icons that signify all the all different kinds of key workers I think that's a better a better idea actually <laughs> but it's a good question um, Potato Thunder says what European country would you like to see which you haven't visited yet uh, I'd quite like to see Germany I've always uh, wanted to go to Germany uh, I studied German in secondary school and at college um, and it's just yeah I think it'd be really really cool it's just not a country I've ever been on holiday to um, I think it's too close to home to the when I'm sitting when I'm trying to plan a holiday thinking where do I want to go in the world um, I think it's too close for me to want to specifically go there but um, it's definitely on my list of places I would really really like to go um, Monty 788 says geez over 350 comments that's when you know it's a giveaway exactly uh, right here goes the question you are given the chance to make one wish just one can't wish for more wishes what do you wish for can I wish that Bungle never finds an Olympic football? No, <laughs> that's very, very mean. Um, oh, I only get one wish. One wish. Um, uh, um, 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 uh, I, I want, um, what, what, what's going to be the best wish? To be incredibly lucky um, in my coin hunt in life, playing the lottery. I think being very, very, being the luckiest person on the planet. I can't think of any downsides to it, but there's always like these ways you can twist things to make them not as uh, great. But uh, I think, yes, I'm going to punt for luck. Um, Paul Lingard says, didn't just fall out the lemon tree. I haven't heard that one before. It made me proper laugh out loud. <laughs> Adding to a good day, I finally competed my Beatrix Potter 50p set. The anniversary one was harder to find than Miss Potter Duck for me. Wow. <laughs> I wish I had that kind of luck. So really good luck, because yeah, finding Potter Ducks is... Uh, I, Yes, I'm still looking for one in my 50p's. Um, didn't just fall out the lemon tree. Yes, I <laughs> there are some things to me that are normal that are just things that I say on the, on the regular. But um, yeah, it's bizarre that um, sometimes these things um, aren't as common as, as in my mind they are. Um, Vicky Waddle says, Hi Christopher, I managed to get a Trafalgar 200th anniversary £5 coin in a charity shop. Yay! My question is, what would be... The best piece of Star Star Wars memorabilia that you would like to own? Wow, the best bit of Star Wars memorabilia. I would probably say something used in the movie. 
because that would be so so good with providence and i've got evidence that this is has been used in the movie um my what, what if i could pick one prop can i pick a costume can i have a darth vader suit the darth vader, can i be specific i want the darth vader suit from the final scene of return of the jedi not when he's on the pyre i mean when he's fighting with luke skywalker it's my favorite scene in star wars and imagine having that or just even his lightsaber from that scene oh yeah anything darth vader that's been screen used that would be top of my list if i were given um endless choice ashley pritchard says do you have any world war ii coins um i have yeah so i've got coins that commemorate the second world war obviously or wars in general in terms of the coins that i have found in coin hunts or coins that i've purchased um but then in terms of in terms of world coins in terms of coins that were released during the second world war yeah i've got a, a, a fair few of them it's interesting spanning different countries some countries you'd rather not see uh coins, <laughs> coins from that period um i get appreciated it as a part of history a part of, of our um the, of international history so uh, it's not something that can be forgotten but um yeah uh, it's a bit awkward when they pop up on videos it must be said um ian ritchie says fingers crossed that all these giveaway prizes are claimed this time my question is the the last time we were in a recession we had a q gardens 50p limited in its circulation do you think history could repeat itself uh i don't know if being in a recession was what triggered the q gardens to be low minted it was a case that they were forecasted more coins than were than were actually then needed so they had to revise it and stop minting them so maybe who knows i think as time goes on we end requiring less and less coins although it's interesting in terms of 2021 that it seems like all bar the pound coin are being minted for circulation or last year was 2020 i can't recall which mintage years um i've heard or been shown or been told and you can never really trust it until the enrollment actually release it in their annual mintage figures so yes um yeah it seems to be that more coins are coming out recently uh, which bucks the trend of what everyone was expecting, especially with what we're going through at the moment with the lack of use of coins. But um, yeah, I think as time goes by, you will have a lessening amount of coins made for circulation, which naturally means that those coins will be scarcer to find, I think. That's my humble opinion. I don't know any more than the next person, though. Neil Henderson says, Hope I get picked. Random question for you. When you bought your new car, did it come with the upgraded indicators that work? Keep up the good work, Christopher. Yes, my car does have indicators and I do use them. Um, it's an Audi drivers now that are the uh, the new BMW drivers of the road. Grossi <laughs> um, Coin Hunts says, When is the next PO box? Probably Thursday. Probably Thursday. Stephen Tuckfield says, Hi Christopher, great giveaway and great videos. Question, brown sauce or tomato sauce? Uh, what do I use the most? Probably ketchup, uh, but I do like brown sauce. I like mayonnaise as well. In fact, I've got uh, there's a garlic, spicy mayonnaise. Oh, that's so nice. Um, but yeah, I, there aren't many condiments I don't like. Probably mint sauce. I don't really like lamb, so I have no need in my life for mint sauce. And spicy mustard. Ugh, no, thank you. Um... Touche Mugbush Pineapple says, lovely prizes. Good luck, everyone. My question is, what coin do you have the most of in your collection? Boah, good question. Because uh, obviously I don't keep things like Benjamin Bunnies. They're really, really common ones. They just go back into circulation. It would probably be the 2008 Britannia, which I'm fairly sure I've got in excess of 500 of them in my collection. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably the coin I've got most in my collection. Probably will be caught up by the likes of Christopher Ironside at some point. Um, Luke, I don't know, says, what's your favorite video of the entirety of YouTube? That is such a, an interesting question, a tricky question as well. So I've been, I've been a fan of, I've watched the Yogscast for many, many years. Um, but I recall very vividly the first Yogscast video I saw was them doing Surgeon Simulator. And I thought it was amazing. So that has got a special place in my heart. Um, in terms of probably the YouTube channel that I have in, that has endured and I've watched for the longest period of time consistently. Um, but if I had to recommend one video to someone, uh, a video that is fascinating and seems to be coming somewhat true, was uh, CGP Grey's Humans Need Not Apply. It's such an interesting video. I think that's probably one of the first of his videos that I saw and I've been hooked ever since. Uh, and I've recently started listening to the Hello Internet podcast, which is a shame because it's, it's come to an end, but I am thoroughly enjoying, um, I think it's about five years behind, but um, it's interesting hearing what they say. Um, 
obviously some of the, some things have come into fruition but other things are just hmm, interesting um anyway but yeah that's the one i'd recommend humans need not apply blew my mind when i watched it i've watched it probably about 30 times since i first found it uh s cook says thank you for doing this it's a really good idea any coin would be lovely to end how is it going with your 1p year 2000 collection my most uh, uh, my most recent update was actually on tuesday so you haven't seen that be sure to go back and check uh, i've changed how i'm going to be doing them i was just recording a month's worth of penny hunts and then uploading that so it was always random amounts i'm aiming to do 20,000 pennies and then put a video up um, i have actually recorded the second the next one uh, i have hunted through the next 20,000 pennies from the year 2000 of looking for the ones from the year 2000 and i've got the coins for the third video i just haven't persuaded myself that i should sit down and record the those hunts because it takes about 45 minutes a bag and then you think you've got, i've got to get through um 10 bags of that that's a that's a long uh, amount of time being put into doing that but uh, yes it's going very well um i seem to fade and dip and start and stop doing them because it, this it, it is probably one of the more less interesting hunts to do but um yes it it'd be well worth it for that world record though um Tom Spotley says, nice prize. Why the fez are not a thong? <laughs> so I used to wear a fez when I would do my uh, live streams because um, I came back on holiday from, from holiday from Tunisia and I was told if I didn't bring a fez back, uh, Frankie Franks over my Discord server, one of my moderators would be disappointed. So I bought one and I wore it and we got very lucky on the live stream. So I wore a fez ever since. Uh, but why a fez and not a thong? No one wants to see Christopher Clex in a thong. I can, uh, that's, there is a, that is the Christopher Clex guarantee on that. Uh, Alfie Jones says, fantastic prizes. If you could move to anywhere in the world, where would you go? <sighs> Good question. Uh, if, if I was told I, I had to leave and now immediately, I would probably go to Canada because um, I've got relatives in Canada. My mum's Canadian. I've got Canadian roots, spent a lot of time out there. It's a lovely country. It's got all the great things about America without the nutters. <laughs> so yeah, probably Canada. And it's not the most... Um, horrendous climate i wouldn't want to go anywhere that's far too hot or far too cold um dog's life says i love your channel and love the coins in this giveaway i'd be happy with any of those uh my uh, if if questions are to be considered then mine would be if you could collaborate with anyone to make youtube videos who would it be wow uh, anyone ever on youtube i have no idea i had some collaborations with other uh, channels in the works but uh, obviously the, the madness that we've gone through I sort of scrapped those ideas um, channels that I've worked with before channels that I'm working with in fact Wednesday be sure to tune in for the 50p coin hunt that's a big collaboration going on with that and I'm very very excited for I haven't recorded my video yet obviously by the time this video goes up I probably will have maybe I can't recall <laughs> I don't know my own recording schedule it's been a long week people it's been a long week uh, Lynn Mill says Ozzy and Ruby would love to be entered into the draw. Uh, they would send a postcard, but they can't get the stamps released. I see. <laughs> Ozzy and Ruby are Lynn's uh, Tibetan Mastiffs. And uh, they're very, very cute. I have some pictures. They're lovely, lovely dogs. Um, Clap and Coin says, I wonder if my luck is still go grow is growing. I wonder if my luck is still going strong. So Clap and Coins, I think the giveaway prior to this one or one before that, won my silver proof Benjamin Bunny. Uh, I finally got a home to that cursed coin that no one would, uh, after winning would actually claim. But um, yes, um, I hope you're still enjoying that coin. <laughs> uh, Paul Hoskins, Hoskin even, not Hoskins, says, I'm amazed you don't have more Christopher Collects merchandise for, for sale. It's out there. It's out there. Um, fridge magnets depicting your famous quotes. Holy Toledo. No way, Jose. Hello and welcome back. And pepperonis. Well, look, I actually got the pepperoni shirt. He left that comment 10 months ago. So there we go. Paul Hoskins can see the future. Um, I'd be interested in what, what, what other things would people like to see on shirts and things? Because um, the, the design for this shirt or the idea behind it just came out, out, out to me out of, as a blah, 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 out of nowhere. As a bolt from the blue. Um... And then uh, the, the lovely angel from a coin collector's journey just fortuitously messaged me the same day. And I was like, right, whilst, I got you, whilst I'm talking to you, I know you do graphic designs. I've got this idea. Can we do it? Um, and very kindly has put, put the design together, which I'm very, very happy with. Um, 
da, 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 da. next question uh, in fact oh, we've got a couple maybe a couple more uh, Eddie Gilbert says hi Christopher you are my favourite coin tuber but Bungle is hot on your heels don't tell him that don't tell him that he wouldn't fit out his front door otherwise my question is if you were to go on holiday after lockdown where would you go and why uh, good luck to everyone um, so the summer before we got into lockdowns I was supposed to be going on holiday to Egypt with a very good friend of mine that um then used up all of his holiday and couldn't go to, um, on holiday. So instead I went to Tunisia on my own. So uh, again, Egypt is the top country that I would love to go to. I want to see the pyramids and the Valley of the Kings and da 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 and uh, then, then spend the rest of the holiday on a beach in the sun doing diddly all. So yes, um, that I would go to Egypt, I think. But I'd obviously... We're not wondering, um, that's not taking into account the situation, the statistics in different countries. Obviously, I don't want to come out of the UK to go somewhere and then catch the thing that no one wants to catch. Uh, that you can't say because otherwise the algorithm finds you and beats you. Uh, we're going to go with one more question. John Crook says, to paraphrase Churchill, never in the field of Christopher Clegg's giveaways will so many prizes unclaimed by so many be won by so few. Good luck to all who enter. Very, very cool quote. I like it a lot. Well, that being said, let's get back to the coins. Well, unfortunately, no um, Alphabet 10Ps for the book, but we did get a couple of finds. We got that Croatian to Kuna. That is from 2017 and a Jersey 1992, 10 pence. So at least we've got something there. As I said, the Alphabet 10 pieces are so elusive. Just finding one is a success. So I hope you have all had more luck than I have. For those that watch this round of the video, you might be interested to know that I have a Discord server for coin collectors. You can click the link in the description to come and join that. Alternative, alternatively, you can catch me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and there's the peer box you can write into if you so wish. But as ever, all that leads me to do now is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.